Hello Minecraft fans and fellow Christians. Today I'll be covering probably the two spookiest mods I'll ever cover on the whole channel. The Groom mod and the Beneath Them mod. Now the reason why you won't be you didn't see them on the three other lists is because I sort of forgot about them because I don't normally use them. Now the Groom mod. This actually came from a book. This is actually the first book from said book series, Zork. Now, the Gru actually came in the second book, but this is the only book a whole series I had. It's one of those kinds of books where you have to make an option, or make a choice, and go to a certain page to find out, find out the results of that said choice. If that's the kind of book you're interested, then you may actually like this book. But, back to Minecraft. Now, the Gru. As far as I understand it, it's supposed to spawn only in pure darkness. Now, depending on which version of the mod you get, it'll spawn in either only survival mode or both survival mode and creative mode. Or any thing of that sort. Now, for the experiment, I'll do it all myself. Now here's the chamber in which I'll be spying them in. The first time around I'll let you see the mod at its worst, which ain't too bad since you'll be getting a blindness effect. Now the next time around I'll actually let try and let you see him a little better. <laughs> Now, because you, I had the mod Toros Craft, he got a small glimpse of what it was like. But when he spawns, he actually spawns directly in the same spot you're in. Now, notice what the armor looks like. For a creature with supposedly infinite damage and can't take any damage except from light, the armor's not damaged one bit. I mean, you would think that it would be completely broken, probably. Now, for round two, I'll be taken from another mod called Everlasting Abilities. I'll probably cover it in another video. But here's a general idea how it works. Requires XP to get good benefits. Now I still won't be able to kill him, but you'll get the idea. Night vision and a uh, thing that'll prevent me from gaining the blindness. <laughs> Interesting. He actually was afraid of the arc lamp they happened to have beneath the place. Now I'll get to what arc lamps being from Galactic Craft later, but basically arc lamps are supposed to emulate daylight and, well, apparently scare almost any mobs whatsoever. Now I'll keep the night vision for the beneath. Now, well, okay, that seems to be it for the Gru mod. Rather simply, if you ask me, but anyway. Now, as for the beneath, let me get, oh, right, I'll probably want creative mode. Here is the least grand portal to any dimension I've ever seen. This is the portal to the Beneath. Now, for whatever reason, the creator of the Beneath didn't add a, well, crafting recipe for the block. So if you want, you can either cheat to get it or 
use custom NPCs to sell it. There are some mods that allow you to change or add completely new crafting recipes, but something like Minecraft Tweaker, I quite haven't mastered yet. So that may come later. But if you want to enter this dimension, all you have to do is right click on this block. And give it a moment. And that's night vision working. And that sounds about as spooky as it, and that, and those spooky words is about as bad as it gets. Now let's get to seeing how this my, this dimension looks normally. Now these are some of the arc lamps I had. They scare away just about any mobs, including mo most mods mods. Now the one interesting thing about this dimension is the quote deep darkness of this place. Let me demonstrate for you. Talk about being way off. Now, at least in previous previous versions, the quote deep darkness of this place actually was supposed to kill you if you stay out in it long enough. But that may be circumvented by the fact of the Gru mod. Now that's him right about over there. A four-legged monstrosity. Now, the reason for this dimension? Well, it's sort of another mining dimension if you like big, ca big caves and mobs that have at least twice the health of normal ones. Well, their normal overworld count counterparts. If you like that, well, then be my guest. But otherwise, I'm, I think I like the aromas mining dimension. That seems pretty nice to me. And no, I am not scared of this dimension. I, I have way more mods that can make these mobs easy to kill and you know about probably. And besides, the mining dimension I normally use is spacious enough to allow me to build what I want and need. Uh, that seems to about cover it. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. That it, like the Aromas Mine Dimension, it also has, well, a configurable amount of ore spawning. And, well, so if you want to challenge and more ores for it, then fine, that's it. Well... Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you at least maybe enjoy using this somehow. Bye, y'all.